Here it is, the absolute beginner's guide to installing AutoGPT. When I first tried it, I tried a couple of YouTube videos and I got lost. So I've made this as simple as possible. Follow these instructions, the links in the description of this video, and you will set it up on your Windows PC in less than 10 minutes. First thing to clear up is, uh, we presume that you are already using ChatGPT. Now, you also need to sign up for the API pay-as-you-go subscription. This is nothing to do with ChatGPT Plus. You might be paying $20 a month for. Uh, so you need to go to your login for OpenAI and you click on API. And uh, if you go to your account there, you will be able to sign up. If you've not signed up, it says you're on a free account. You'll have to sign up with your bank details. Uh, you can set limits so that you don't spend fortunes. Uh, I've set mine at about $50 a month and I'm monitoring it. But there you go. You need to sign up. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do. And then you need to install Python. So you go to the website python.org forward slash downloads. The correct link is in the description of this video. And you just simply click download Python, current version 3.11.4 in June 2023. Now, this is important. Uh, here we go. It says install Python 64 bit. You need to make sure you tick, and this is important, add Python exe to path. Okay. And then you click install now. And that's all you have to do. Python is installed. So click close. Next, you're going to download Git. Just click on the link in the description and go to probably 64-bit Git for Windows setup. That downloads. Once it's downloaded, run the exe file by double-clicking on it. And just very quickly, just go next on everything. Okay, so go next, 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 next. And finally, click install and it's installed click finish next we're going to download auto gpt from github is the stable release the link is in the description uh, you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you download the source code as a zip file and once that is downloaded presumably you've got winwar winrar or winzip on your machine you double click on it and the easiest way is just to drag it onto your desktop and then on your folder, you should see the full Auto GPT. If you've not already got it, go to Visual Studio. Go to this link in the description of the video and download Visual Studio Cold for Windows. Just click on it. It will download. And when it's downloaded, you click Open. Accept the agreement. If you want, you could have the desktop icon and then just click Next and Install. And that should open up like this. In Visual Studio, you want to go to the three lines at the top and click File and Open Folder and Find Auto GPT and click Select Folder. Scroll down to env.template. It should open this up and you scroll down to line 71, which is your Open AI key. Now you go back to Open AI and you click on API, it'll bring up this page where you've already signed up and subscribed to the paper go plan and you go to your API keys and you click create a new secret key. Don't show this anybody. Create a secret key and call it like I call it auto GPT or whatever you want to call it auto GPT three, but just call it auto GPT and say create secret key. And then you click the green button to copy and copy that key. So now you go back to Visual Studio and you paste in your API key there. Leaving no space after the equal. OK. Then you want to rename. Right click, rename env dot template env. Press return. And now the easiest way is to go file and save. Okay. Final step. Fingers crossed. Scroll down to run.bat. Right click and reveal in file explorer. And now double click on run. 
It should open the command box now. Mine is ready to go straight away, but if you're installing it for the first time, it will install all the different packages. But in about one minute, if you've done everything correctly, and if nothing's gone wrong, it should be operational. And you can start talking to AutoGPT and ask it what you want to do. More videos about the amazing AutoGPT soon, but I hope you found that really useful and you've been able to set up and get running with AutoGPT quickly. If you've liked this video, give us a like, maybe subscribe, and tell people you know who like AI and software. See you soon, everyone.